slow pack down and uh, we'll get rolling in a minute. Loose plan, and I say really loose because what's happened so far this trip, and we're only sort of two nights, three days in, is we had a, a rough plan of where we wanted to go and where we were going to camp. And um, uh, tracks that looked good on um, Google Earth, or that we'd heard things about, <clears throat> uh, were either shut, or we've had to uh, bypass areas and detour around things, and just hasn't quite gone uh, exactly to plan, but that's sort of how these things tend to go. Um, we've had a great time. Both the campsites we've stayed at have been ones that weren't actually planned. Both of them have been awesome campsites, so no regrets there. But yeah, the loose plan is um, we're gonna get back onto the beach. We're gonna cross uh, the sandbar. Uh, the, the As you would have seen on the drone footage, the river hasn't broken the banks or anything. I don't know that this one does, uh, or not very often anyway, I don't think, from what I've heard. So we're gonna cruise across the sandbar and we're going to head as far up the beach as we can, which I don't think is very far. And then we're going to start ducking around that big mountain you can see there. And try get back on the beach and make our way towards a huge dune system and a really nice um, section of beach called Reef Beach, which is sort of halfway between Albany and Bremer Bay. And hopefully that's camp tonight. Don't know quite how we're going to get there yet. I think we're going to, there'll be a few roadblocks sort of trying to navigate some of this coast, but that's the plan for the day, should be good. This is, get this, on camera, man. this is a weird yeah. spot to be handline fishing. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to catch out here, Leon? <laughs> What's happened, Leon? He's got his rod stowed up on the roof and he's totally spooled the thing the other day when we're drone fishing because he was supposed to tell me when to stop when he was running out of line. He didn't tell me. So I've spooled 300 meters of line off his reel and just kept flying until there's nothing left. So he's bought a new spool, spooled it all up yesterday in town and somehow it's caught a tree about 300 meters away and it spooled him again. <laughs> oh no. I feel sorry for him. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you reckon is going to be on the other end? Gary. <laughs> yeah, Gazza's on the other end of it. You, you caught the Gazza. <laughs> New line as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's never seen water. <laughs> <laughs> we doing it? Yeah, let's go for it, man. A bit of entertainment on the way. Yeah. Like it. This is an awesome track. We're really enjoying this. Now we're heading back towards the beach. Yeah, it's going to dogleg again and, and keep heading um, sort of parallel to the road and parallel to the beach, heading east by the looks of it. All right, cool. Yeah, so we seem to be on some um, fence line trails now. A lot of farming property on one side of us and crown land, or what I think is crown land on the other side. But we're heading east. We're heading towards Reef Beach, our next camp. And... Um, we, uh, we haven't had to air up, which has kind of been the goal. We just want to stay off-road, uh, locked in four-wheel drive, um, 
for as much of this as we can. And we've done pretty well so far. I reckon at the end of this trip, we, we would have done a, probably a couple of hundred Ks of, um, of four wheel driving between campsites. Tell me what you want, want to stop, Trump. Whoa, have a look at that. That is awesome, eh? Almost looks like it's snow, doesn't it? An unsigned. This is a bucket list trip for all of us, I think. Um, I probably first heard about Reef Beach on one of Ronnie Dahl's early videos. And um, I've, ever since I saw it, I've wanted to come here. Same as Stream Beach, that's that's would have been where I first uh, heard of it as well. So Reef Beach and Stream Beach have been on the bucket list for like, I don't know, like 10 years or something? Long time. I don't know why it's taking me so long to come and come out here and actually have a look at it. That was a good drive. That was an awesome drive, yeah. eh? I yeah, really awesome enjoyed that. Drive. So did I. And I'm stoked that we managed to get the whole way without airing up. Yeah. How's the view, mate? Yeah, it's spectacular. How good is this? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, just stick your swags on it. Eh? Yeah. Ping pong table. <laughs> Boy, that's a wicked fire pit. Couple of um. Oh, it tight. Uh, truck wheels. rooms, yeah. yeah. You get that thing glowing red, couldn't you? Oh, oh yeah. That'll pump out some good heat, wouldn't it? Yeah. Wind charm, beautiful. <laughs> I'm actually quite um, speechless about this place. This is amazing. I'm also nervous about um, that I won't be able to show you how amazing it is because it's so big and so vast that I can't get it all in a camera lens. I don't feel like I can. I'm really thankful I've got the drone because I'm gonna have to rely on the drone to get it right up in the air just to show you like the sheer size of this dune system. It is like humbling how big this is. I feel insignificant. These, they're just towering over you, these dunes everywhere. Here is just sheer drop-offs everywhere where the wind has just eroded the edges of these dunes away. Oh look, Gary's just picked his way through the dunes and found us. You could get lost in here. It's, yeah, I don't know. I should have come here sooner. If you live in WA, come check out Reef Beach. This place is insane. And the drive-in was awesome too. I just had to add that. It just looks like a desert, doesn't it? You look one way, it's desert, and then the sea, it's beautiful, man. Not what I expected in no, the slightest. I've never no. been anywhere like this before. No, it's f***ing strange. It's, it's like good, well, yeah. I expected, like, Yeager up. Yeah, But yeah. this is next level. These, these oh, dunes are huge. It's hard to even get yeah. it on camera, man, like, to appreciate how big no. they are. Beautiful, though, beautiful. Crazy, isn't it? I'm blown away by this spot, Gaz. Perception is crazy here. You yeah. Can't there's nothing to gauge of anything, you yeah. know? So you're traveling the sand dunes, you don't know if it's going to drop off or not, because there's nothing saying. there to, and to I wanna, go off. I want to get up top to get a cool vantage point, but... Well, somewhere like here. I, well, I want to, but it's quite... Um, oh, yeah, it's getting your car up there is daunting. It's yeah. sketchy, mate, sketchy. Sketchy. <laughs> um, I came around the back of that. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was, yeah, as I say, it's just, it's hard to 
um, fathom yeah. the, just the, the immense of it. Yeah. It's cool. Also, the challenge is going to be finding somewhere out of the wind to yeah. camp. I, well, back where we were before, I suppose. The shack? Yeah. Stay in the shack, you reckon? Well, around there, it's, it's, it's sheltered, isn't it? Wish I had a sandboard now all of a sudden. Oh, do you know what? I was actually thinking of bringing me a bodyboard. Oh, you should have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It must be a huge bodyboard, right? Yeah, massive. <laughs> some people call them boats, but... <laughs> uh, we're going to have some lunch, yeah, uh, and definitely. then we'll move on and find somewhere else to dig in. This was the plan for lunches while, while we're away. I've got some chicken strips in the freezer. So I bang them in the air fryer. Bit of salad, bit of cheese, a lot of sauce. And uh, away we go. Takes about 10 minutes and it's delicious. It's pretty bloody soft. been having a bit of a play in the dunes and over the radio a couple of lads have said they're bogged. I think Tony got bogged and Leon got bogged pulling them out so we'll go have a look and give him a hand. I've done this myself before as well. It's when, when you don't get snatched out with enough momentum, sometimes a car doing the snatch and as it sort of bounces back takes on the load, sort of bogs down as well, and you end up with a tight snatch strap and two bogged cars, which I think is what's happened. Isn't the water beautiful, the colour? I was talking. Sorry, mate. I can straight into it. Sorry, bud. Yeah, I hope that's on video too. It is. <laughs> How rude I am. How rude you are. You just, are you parking here, or? Well, I'm thinking about fishing here, so, you know. Right. I've got a, I'm, I'm well set. You are. Yeah. Anchored. Oh dear. Oh, it's the Ford way. Yeah. <laughs> Better not say that. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Leon? What's that? I tried. You're digging out, mate. I stayed to help a mate. Yeah. Unlike others. Yeah, we just went. Yeah. That's right. Gonna be washed up to sea. Anything. Do you want a small uh, shovel? <laughs> I've got a toothpick in the car if you want it. You want a spoon? A teaspoon? Some, there's some kids going to want to know where the shovel and spade's going. <laughs> there's a bucket that made a sandcastle. <laughs> this is actually the spot we're thinking we might have a bit of a flick. So Tony's picked a good spot to get bogged. Yep. I can't get over the colour of this water. It is spectacular. So this is obviously why they call it Reef Beach. There's a, a line of reef out there. And we're gonna have a go um, flicking some baits, maybe some lures, and this sort of, is it a gutter? I don't know. This little protected bit. Wind's still blowing straight against us, but at least we're not dealing with big waves. It's a bit more protected. I reckon that's us for the Arvo. A couple of beers, fish this hole, and um, we still haven't actually found a campsite yet. But that's this afternoon's problem. So windy. Um, just the one herring in this session. He's not a bad size. Um, I'm gonna whack the fillets off him and probably stick him in the fridge. I'll have him for uh, lunch tomorrow. I think we might go find camp. Blowing his bum off. Oh look, he's just got one too. Yeah. That's a good size one. I'm not even sure I've got it. I just felt sort of. Oh, you're losing him, you're losing him. Oh, lucky. <laughs> I didn't realise I got it, I just found something. They're yeah, good sized herring down here, eh? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? No. Alright. Well, another one. 
Oh, we're eating well tonight. <laughs> We decided we fancied a night uh, off the beach, out of the wind and the whipping sand and all the rest of it. So we managed to get the, the fishing shack to ourselves, which is pretty cool. Um, you can sleep inside this thing, but we're not too keen to do that. So, well, actually Leon's put his tent inside there, but the rest of us have got swags around the outside. Um, my turn to cook tonight, and I'm gonna be doing a uh, katsu chicken which I've done before on the channel, on a caravanning trip, when we're on the Gib River Road. But I'll briefly show you what's in it, it's real simple. But this is camp for the night, this is the digs. Should be good, nice and cozy. Heaps of bees though, I think there must be... Um... What a show on there. Oh yeah, <laughs> are they still there? Yeah. There must have been something smelly or some water or something there. Oh, it was water, was it? So they decided to make a hive in Leon's car. <laughs> <laughs> We're not laughing, really. No. Actually, you've had some shit like this trip, haven't you, Leon? Yeah. Uh, poor bugger. Anyway, I've got some garlic rice going in the rice cooker. I brought the rice cooker. I should get like a little canvas bag or something made for it because it bounces around and um, rattles itself to bits in the car. It's probably not really made for full driving. But, um, so that's just rice and uh, just some garlic paste and season with some salt, that's all. So that'll be 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna get some veggies on now. I've got some bok choy. choy there which is on its last legs by the look of it. Righto with this <clears throat> bok choy I've got it all chopped up. I've got some garlic in there, some uh, oil and I'm just gonna uh, fry that off until it starts to go wilty and I'm gonna add that marinade which was soy sauce, sesame oil, sesame seeds and I think there might have been some um, a little bit of garlic in that as well. And then once that's sort of, I, I don't need to cook the whole way through because I'm gonna stick it on top of that rice in the rice cooker anyway, and it will finish in there with the rice while I cook the chicken. So I've got some chicken thighs, and um, yeah. at home I beat them flat. So they just put like parchment paper over them and just smash them with a rolling pin until they're flat. Just got a egg wash, <laughs> and then crumb them in panko. And then I think there's six of them there, so we'll get one and a half each, which is going to be quite a bit, actually. I'm not going to be able to cook all this chook in one go, so I think what I'll do is um, I'll do two at a time, and then I'll keep it warm in the air fryer. So yeah. this is the cocktail, but it's not a cocktail. Well, yeah, this is simple cocktail. Yeah. Because I really, really like them, they were good. Yeah, they were good. See, I've got a bad experience on snaps. Oh, it was a long time ago, mate. Just give it a go, would you? All right. Cheers. And come. Yeah. There you go, Kim. Sir. Cheers, Cheers, boys. It's been a great trip Cheers, so far. Uh, yep. Wasn't too bad, actually. Told you. <laughs> <coughs> want another one for later? Got one, another one now? Yeah, go on. Excuse me. It's my night. <laughs> oh, I hate this stuff, Duffy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've had a one? bad experience on Snaps. Who wants another one? Another one? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, things change. Oh, that's quite nice. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. How are you liking this um, induction cooker compared to the other one? Oh, yeah, this one's better. Yeah. 
I'm not super keen on either of them though. Oh really? Yeah, I just prefer cooking on gas, man. Oh, okay. Yeah. Righto. You ready? Yep. Gonna get your plates. Okay. Okay. Rice, bit of veg on the side, chicken on top, smother it in sauce. What time, what flavour is that sauce? Tonkatsu. Tonkatsu, it's mm. Japanese. Oh, okay. But I know, I'll give it a go, looks it's, good actually. It's delicious, man. Yeah. I think QP all over it as well, guys. Duffy unfortunately lost his drone today. Uh, I know yeah. the pain. I've, I've been there myself, brother. I know. Do you know what? Uh, yeah. These Shit happens, eh? These things happen. Yeah. This is good, huh? Yeah. Plan is to head east as far as we can along the beach. Keep sort of picking tracks on our way to Stream Beach, which is a bit of a bucket list destination for us. So. 